The color green has always been a symbol of life, a sign of abundance and renewal. Its calming effect is associated with the embrace of nature. The tranquil and refreshing impression it leaves gives a sense of both warmth and coolness. A harmonious correspondence between what are usually considered opposite poles. In a land of lush greens, people enjoy a relaxed life. In Nueva Ecija province, north of Manila, green is dominant, both in their surroundings and their lives. A mix of tenderness and firmness. A laid-back yet active environment, where ends meet and prove how easy it is to get the best of both worlds. Nueva Ecija, the rice granary of the Philippines, is the well-endowed golden plain of Central Luzon. Located in the heart of the region, it is a vast, landlocked terrain established as a military command by Governor General Narciso Claveria in 1777. Formerly a part of the province of Pampanga, Nueva Ecija grew to cover nearly the entire island of Luzon. According to Spanish records, the Philippine Islands were divided into two countries, namely Las Islas Filipinas and Nueva Ecija. However, Nueva Ecija did not fully achieve that status due to poverty. Today, Nueva Ecija is thriving and innovative, moving toward the bright prospects of the future. Nueva Ecija played an important role in Philippine history. Once a part of the province of Pampanga, the town of Cabiao has a great view of Mount Arayat and the Pampanga River from the Gaudencio Antonino Bridge. Cabiao is known for being the venue for one of the most significant upheavals during the colonial age, the first cry of Nueva Ecija on September 2, 1896. It is one of the first uprisings against Spanish governance in Central Luzon. Led by General Mariano Llanera, a native of Cabiao, 2,000 revolutionaries marched and seized the town hall of San Isidro and turned it into the country's capital, but only for a day. The onslaught was complemented by the Band of 96, one of the first brass bands in the country organized by Jesuit missionaries in 1724. Also in San Isidro is the house that was the president's residence for a day. Now known as the Aguinaldo Shrine, the house owned by the Sideco family served as the Malacanang Palace for 24 hours after the takeover of San Isidro. In the capital city of Palayan is the Museo Novo Ecijano. Found in the provincial capital, the museum holds artifacts and photos of the early days of the province, its people, and their traditions. Also in the provincial capital is a monument of Eduardo Hoson, former World War II guerrilla leader and the longest serving governor of Nueva Ecija. In Cabanatuan City, Nueva Ecija's commercial hub stand two other memorials commemorating the fallen heroes of World War II, the Camp Pangatian West Point Memorial and the Camp Pangatian Shrine. The shrine was originally a military training camp, but was used as a concentration camp by the Japanese during the war. Fort Magsaysay in Palayan City, the largest military camp in the country, has found its way into history books for having had in its premises the detention cells of political oppositionists Benigno Nino Aquino Jr. and Jose Diocno. The Aquino Diocno Shrine, built in 2003, keeps the hero's memorabilia. The town of General Tinio has a memorial built in honor of the former president Corazon Aquino. The Bantayog ng Inanan Demokrasya, loosely translated to Shrine of the Mother of Democracy, for having restored democracy to the country after years of military rule. Other than Nueva Ecija's contribution to Philippine history is its rich agricultural industry. Rice fields envelop the province, surrounding it in a sea of green. Farmers have found ways to improve their methods and enhance their resources by working with nature. In Gimba, Producers of fruits like melons and watermelons now practice organic farming, using compost and biological pest control in lieu of artificial fertilizers and pesticides. 
Bongabon Town is the leading onion producer in the Philippines and Southeast Asia. Planting begins toward the end of January and harvest toward the end of February. Onion farmers normally stock up during this period to avoid planting in the rainy season, which ruins their crops. Bongabon celebrates the Sibuyasan, or Onion Festival, in the second week of April. And with the abundance of natural resources comes the need for water. The rivers of the neighboring provinces of Aurora and Nueva Vizcaya feed the dams of Nueva Ecija, that in turn supply water to the rest of central Luzon. One of the oldest dams is the Peñaranda, in the town of the same name. Built in 1925, it is one of the few remaining manually operated mechanical dams in the country. It has also become one of the town's leisure spots. The Pahingahan Dam at Fort Magsaysay in Palayan City has itself turned into a favorite venue for picnics and kayaking. The Rizal Dam in Rizal Town sources water from the Pampanga River and supplies Tarlac and Pampanga. The largest and cleanest dam in the Philippines can be found in the town of Pantabangan. The Pantabangan Dam is the result of much planning and reorganization. In 1966, the Philippine Congress passed the Upper Pampanga River Project Act, which prompted the construction of the Pantabangan Dam. This entailed a major economic and social impact to the town's people, where over 8,000 hectares of farmlands and villages were submerged, and the residents relocated to what is now the new Pantabangan town. Construction began in 1971, and the project was completed in 1974. The Pantabangan Dam, which holds water from the Pantabangan River, supplies the vast farmlands of Central Luzon. Inside the Pantabangan Reservoir are other facilities, like the Kasiknan Trans Basin Project. This 27-kilometer underground tunnel from the Kasiknan River in Nueva Vizcaya to the Pantabangan Complex was built in 2001 to irrigate 50,000 hectares of farmlands and generate 140 megawatts of hydroelectric power for Luzon. Also within the reservoir, breeders have set up fish cages to help prevent water pollution. Fishermen breed freshwater milkfish near the spillway, where the fish can grow to weigh about 5 kilograms. Every year, the Pantabangueños celebrate the Padawan Festival, highlighted by Bancarera, a boat race around the lake. The festival's name Padawan comes from the word Padaw, meaning to fish. In keeping up with the times, Nueva Ecija has also responded to the increasing need for sustainable development. In Cabiao, a non-government organization has tied up with the local government and other organizations to educate residents on permaculture, or self-sufficient settlements. Cabiokid Foundation, established in May 2001 by Angelito Agustin, developed a six-hectare property once used for chemical farming into an environment filled with renewable energy sources. Nothing here goes to waste. The farm ecosystem is home to various species of endemic plants and native animal breeds. Using natural ways to treat and prolong the life of bamboo trees and trying out alternative ways of planting crops, the area is maximized with the different aspects of farm development. Governor Umali's Advocacy – The Protection of the Environment Bamboo Propagation Solar Lamps Electric Charged U-Trikes With all this wealth found in the province, Nueva Ecija has taken measures to ensure that their products and services are of top quality. In the science city of Muñoz are different facilities designed to further develop the farmer's production methods. The Philippine Rice Research Institute, or Phil Rice, was established in 1985 as a facility for research and development for rice production. 
With rice being the Philippines' staple food, Phil Rice tries out new varieties and various planting methods and disseminates the findings to farmers to help them improve their production. New varieties are tested and bred through tissue culture, and rice seeds are conditioned in laboratories in the facility. The Phil Rice Museum can also be found in the facility, where visitors can learn about the history of the rice farming traditions of the country. Besides rice production, aquaculture is also promoted in Nueva Ecija. At the National Freshwater Fisheries Technology Center by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, or BFAR, researchers have been breeding and building hatcheries to improve fish production. By trying out different methods of breeding milkfish, such as open ponds and tanks, the BFAR has helped develop the breeding and production techniques of the fisheries industry. Another facility established to help farmers with improved technology is the Philippine Carabao Center. Created in 1992, it was established for research and development and to promote the Carabao, or the water buffalo, for meat, milk, and hide. Through artificial insemination and biotechnology, the center has helped improve the production of rural farmers, leading to the development of the Carabao industry. To maintain the quality of their products, a post-harvest facility was established in Nueva Ecija to educate farmers on the proper upkeep of their produce. The Philippine Center for Post-Harvest Development and Mechanization, or PhilMec, is a research and development facility providing information on food protection and agricultural mechanization. The Science City of Munoz is home to the Central Luzon State University, or CLSU, the region's premier state university. Other industries also thrive in Nueva Ecija, making it a viable venue for business. Food is a favorite venture, and confectionaries abound all over the province. A notable product from Cabiao is milk pastry from Aing's Pastillas. Owned by the Vinas family, this shop makes one of the most popular delicacies in Nueva Ecija. Their pastillas, or milk candies, come in five different flavors and are exported abroad. A local favorite is cooked up in Peñaranda town. Aling Miling's Espasol, a treat made of glutinous rice, sugar, and milk, is one of the tastiest in the province. Miling Abelio started selling her products on the streets in 1968 and formally established her business in 1986. Sally's Kainan in Gabaldon Town is what serves the special fish sisig, fish boiled, then fried with onions, mixed with mayonnaise, then served on a sizzling plate. They also serve hinelabos na talangka, or boiled river crabs. Other local delicacies are served in the town of General Tino, and those wanting to try the flavors of Nueva Ecija should get a taste of pangat na bia, fish cooked in sour broth. Carabao's milk is a source of more sweet treats produced in the province. The town of Talavera is one of the main producers of various Carabao milk-based pastries. In 2002, Nefedco, or Nueva Ecija Federation of Dairy Carabao Cooperative, was founded to facilitate the proper management of dairy farms. With assistance from the Philippine Carabao Center, the farmers are able to improve the quality of their products and manage their production. One of the established dairy farms in Talavera is DVF Dairy Farm. Founded by Danilo Fausto in 1992, the company started out as a backyard industry, which expanded with branches in Metro Manila. Their line of products includes fresh Carabao's milk and the Filipino favorite, quesong puti, or cottage cheese. Mahogany Wings, founded in Angeles City in Pampanga in February 2001, has since moved to Cabiao with hopes of providing jobs to its residents. Mahogany Wings exports handcrafted aero sculptures patterned after actual aircraft designs. Made from kiln-dried Philippine mahogany, each model is carved, assembled, sanded, and painted by hand, showing off a high-quality finish. Also in Cabiao is the productivity center of the Father Paul Lehman village of Gawad Kalina. The women of the village engage in wig making, meant for export. The Father Layman village, built in 2005, is the second Gawad Kalinga community in Nueva Ecija. The first being the Chicago village, 
built in 2003, also in Caviar. In the town of Cabaldon, the women also create their own handicrafts made from indigenous materials with the help of Lika Cabaldon and the local government. With its remarkable terrain, the people of Cabaldon have also started collecting rocks from the mountains. The rocks found in the Xera Madre Range and the Dupinga River are sold as collector's items and decorative ornaments. In the town of Peñaranda is the St. Francis of Assisi Church, where the Arakyo is performed on every first weekend of May. The Arakyo is a depiction of the battle between Christians and Muslims during the Spanish occupation. The performers are accompanied by the Peñaranda Band, one of the oldest in the country. The young men and women of the town who join this ritual consider their participation as a blessing, which they hope will yield good fortune for them in the future. The faithful of Peñaranda have carried on this tradition since the 19th century. Another church, likewise named St. Francis of Assisi, can be found in the town of Bongabon. It has been renovated into a modern spiritual home while keeping its original brick walls. Also in Bongabon is a mystical river said to possess healing properties. The Enoch Jordan, discovered in the 1920s by Alfonso Balanta, flows with water considered to have been blessed by mountain spirits. The Divina Pastora Church in the city of Gapan is considered a pilgrimage site in central Luzon. The feast day of the Divina Pastora is celebrated by the faithful on May 1 every year. Like this. All over Nueva Ecija are resorts that suit a variety of tastes. Whether it's a mountain recluse or a midland oasis, there is no dearth of places to stay in Nueva Ecija. Pantabangan lies along the northeast fringes of Nueva Ecija, and its cool climate is ideal for a relaxing, chilly weekend. Best View Hotel and Restaurant is one of the first resorts in the area. It has a viewing deck from which the beautiful Pantabangan sunrise can be witnessed. The hotel is nestled in the mountains and gives a great view of cloud-capped mountain crests. West of the town proper is De La Merced Lakeview Resort. Here, a commanding view of the Pantabangan Lake and the Sierra Madre mountain range can be had. De La Merced Lakeview Resort has a function room called the Tea House, venue for enjoying a hot drink in the cool weather. Another resort this side of town is Casa Chodora, located right on top of the rolling hills of Pantabangan. It is a haven for those who want to get away from the trappings of daily life. With an equally scenic terrain on the other side of the province is the town of Gabaldon. Tucked in the Sierra Madre Mountains, this idyllic town has striking views found nowhere else in Nueva Ecija. Famosa Resort is a private sanctuary, a quaint little getaway perfect for quiet retreats and intimate get-togethers. It is a refuge for those who want to unwind and enjoy a tranquil setting. Stone 8 Resort is great for family trips with its fun and relaxing atmosphere. Its beautiful landscape has pools filled with mountain spring water and has a close view of the Sierra Madre Range. Crestus Paradise is also a pleasant environment with a very natural feel. So close to the hills, the place is splashed with sunlight and painted with vibrant mountain colors. Meanwhile, Levy Lands Resort in the warm flatlands of Gabaldon is an oasis offering a refreshing atmosphere in the middle of a hot plain. The Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology campus in Gabaldon also has an eco park with flowing spring waters, complete with the distinct calming effect it has to those who hear it. In the town of Bongabon is CJ Water Park Resort, where visitors can enjoy a swim with a cool breeze coming from the neighboring farms. Talavera has various resorts, including Crystal Wave Resort, home of the first wave pool in the province. There is also Venus Resort, the first of such kind in town, where visitors can enjoy its pool slides and the gentle breeze wafting through the trees surrounding the place. For a more private getaway, the Tropical Garden Resort is a great place to stay for a spa-like feel. Owned by landscape artist Lorenz Inos, the place inspires romance with its intimate and warm ambiance. In the town of Peñaranda is the Dream Water Resort, where visitors are treated to a number of activities that ensure a good time. Ideal for large groups and families, the resort has a number of pools and facilities where people can choose and dive right in. 
In the capital city of Palayan is Shera Madre Suites, a hotel right in the heart of the city. Palayan City is also home to the Provincial Convention Center. Near Gabaldon is the Bato Ferry River in Laul. The river gets its name from a big rock that sits right in the middle, which has been defaced by water currents through the years. Gabaldon is also home to the Dumagats, an indigenous people settled along the Lupina River, named after the duping tree found on its banks. Once living deep inside the Sierra Madre, as far as Aurora province, they have since moved to the mountain's fringes. The Dumagat, despite having to catch up with modern living, still maintain their heritage, like the ritual dances that they still perform to this day. For those wanting to get lost in an undisturbed environment, General Dino is the perfect spot. The Minaluno National Park, meaning mine of gold in a cave, has a cave complex and rock formations that are favorites among spelunkers and trekkers. Its serene, calming environment is a painting of nature at its best. Another natural hideaway is the Tayabo Nature's Park in San Jose City, an acclaimed ecotourism destination in the province, maintained and kept as a haven of nature close to the busy city. Nueva Ecija shows that working with nature is more viable than working against it. With its fertile lands and scenic landscapes, Nueva Ecija is the backdrop for the quintessential idyllic life, where the lives of the people are woven with the earth, in a harmonious coexistence like nowhere else. Yeah.